Coach, talking to a lot of people around the program, uh, it seems like everyone had a sense during the offseason that this would be a really good year. Well, you know, I think every season is different. Um, I thought that we knew we had a good recruiting class based on the pedigree of the players coming in. We felt we had a good core of guys coming back from the previous year. And um, so we knew that there was a potential for this season to be successful based on those, um, those parameters. But ultimately, you never know till they all get here, till um, you start training, um, you know, you start playing some matches, you see how the pieces are gonna fit together. And as that was happening, I think we all kind of looked at ourselves and felt like, you know what, we, we, could, uh, we could be pretty good this year. It really seems like a lot of the young players on this team, though, grew up before our eyes. Is there anyone who particularly impressed you? There were, there were so many different um, situations where we saw the maturity of some of these guys as it developed. You know, we start from the back. I mean, you know, Patrick Nielsen and Aaron West are two center backs, both freshmen. You know, both are freshman starters, which is not normal, you know, um, at the Division I college level. And But we saw them grow. Patrick ended up being... Um, you know, one of the top rookies in the league. Aaron scored three goals for, for us, you know, all on set pieces and started almost every game. I mean, you know, you look at David Sands in midfield and David um, did so well for us, he made the all-rookie team. He really just ended up being one of our top playmakers, played uh, in, in, in every single match, started every single match, did really well. And then you had other guys like, you know, Daniel Loguini, who I think had two or three game winners for us, certainly did really well. Um, Ryan Melink you know, led us uh, in goals, five goals, and scored a couple game winners and made the all-rookie team. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a testament to, to their abilities and, and also their work, work ethic and how, how much they were really, how much they really wanted to, to excel. And, and they got the platform to do it because they all played. Now to shift gears to the opposite side, a team with the youth that you had, I think it makes it even more important to have veteran players that can step up and take a leadership role you had that from Pedro Diaz to Christian Hay, Jack Clark, and many others. They were surrounded by youth, but their leadership seemed to be an important bedrock to building success on this team. Absolutely. They were critical to our success because they, they had the experience. They understood what it takes uh, you know, to have success in terms of playing college soccer. And they all played critical roles at different times. I mean, Pedro was our leader. He was our captain. He was a guy that, uh, that set the, the tone for everything we did. He led by example. He also knew when he needed to step up and, and you know, and, and lead, and, and so that was great. Christian and Jack, just great program guys, local guys who just are, are, uh, are tremendous for our culture. Um, Adam Wilson, you know, Adam is uh, obviously a sophomore, but played, uh, started every game last year, was critical to our success again this year. Um, Nick Melville was another senior who impacted us, you know, started again a lot of matches, did really well. So we had so many guys who were um, uh, upperclassmen who helped us throughout this entire process. But if they didn't lead the way, then I don't think the freshmen would have been as successful as they were. And I don't think our team would have been as successful as we were. The leadership of our upperclassmen was invaluable for us this year. And we salute them and we obviously thank them for everything that they've done. We saw a lot of success from the team, but a lot of individual success as well. We saw some players garnering awards that we haven't seen in quite some time. Yeah, you know, we, we really were uh, happy for the guys that got recognized by the conference. We placed three players on the, uh, on the all-rookie team, which I think is the first time that we've done that. And I think what it does is it says that we're doing the right things in terms of bringing in the right players. And then they're performing. You know, obviously, um, you know, Patrick in, in the back, um, you know, David in midfield, and then Ryan up front and in midfield. Those guys are all deserving of that honor. We're also excited that, you know, Patrick made the all-rookie team, uh, in addition to making second team all-conference. And that's very, um, uh, you know, that's not normal that a rookie also makes one of the all-conference teams. And, but he was our, our anchor in the back. We're excited about that, his future. And then Adam making first team all-conference, leading the conference in assists and being second in the country in assists. And then he was also <clears throat> named midfield of the year, which shows that he was a top uh, setup man in the league. And for a sophomore, you know, to get that honor is a pretty deserving honor. So with, with any team success we have, it's good that the individual guys are also recognized because, you know, they're very deserving and we're so proud of these guys. And hopefully next year we can continue to, to get individual recognition but we also want to make sure it's with the team recognition too. Well, Coach, to wrap things up, just a lot to be excited about heading into next year. 
We mentioned all those young players. Now they have a chance for a full offseason to continue to grow. It just seems like this team is in a good place right now, and everybody's very excited to keep the momentum going. Yeah, you know, I think we took a step forward this year with, uh, with the program and with, um, with the results, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And, you know, the thing is, is that we've got a lot of good young players, a lot of good young pieces, but, you know, we also need to make sure that they understand that, all, you know, they still need to push forward. They need to push on um, in order to get better. We have to continue to work, you know, this off season, this, this winter and spring to make them better so that they can continue to grow as players and continue to improve. And then as coaches, we also have to continue to go out and find and add pieces to the group that we have. You know, we graduated five seniors, so we've got to replace some guys. Certainly there are some areas that we need to get a little better at, and we're gonna work on that this winter and spring. And ultimately, you know what, next year for us, we're not gonna surprise many teams. And uh, you know, you can only use that adage of being young so often. So what we want our players to understand is that, listen, you know, the bar has been set, you know, progress has been made, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Let's roll up our sleeves. Let's continue to work to get this program where we, we want it to be, which is continuing to, um, to contend for conference championships and be in the NCAA tournament, because at this time next year, we want it to be playing. But it's easier said than done. But as a program, I think we have made a, a, another step forward and we want that to continue for next year.